everybody's welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be filming as you saw in the title down below the beauty creations annette 69 uh, collaboration that she had back in june um, if you haven't seen the whole process of how she did the whole collection i'll link the video down below and also i will link down where you can buy the whole creation but i've been wanting to film this video for a very very long time since I got it and let me tell you it's been a mission since I've got this I wasn't on the PR list but I did order it with my own money so I'm just putting it out there but before we get into this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn that post notification bell on so that way you get notified every time I upload a video and let's get right into it So this bad boy right here is the Alien Queens collection, Annette 69 with Beauty Creation. Um, I really do love this packaging a lot. Um, just a disclaimer, I did dive in into it just because I wanted to see that everything was in place. But yeah, this is the packaging. I think it's super cute. It goes all the way around and when you open it up, also it goes like that as well so i think it's really really cute and then there was a cover to it but i took the cover off so this is what the pr package looks like when you ordered it i know it was like a limited time um only so i don't think you could order it anymore but you could still order the collection so you can order the lip trio the eyeshadow palette the highlighter and the eyelashes still um, yeah. so let's just dive right into it so each of the collection it comes with like a sliding package and then it comes with its own packaging so this one is the highlighter one still super cute and it comes with a mirror as you can see but this is the highlighter and it's in planted in there or embroidered or implanted imprinted I don't know whatever I don't care but it has the logo of the 69 um, and this one let's see oh that's really nice this is a type of highlighter that I go for so it has like a gold shimmer to it I don't think I swatched it good enough let me see I'm looking at a mirror down here, but if you could tell the gold reflex, I go for eyeshadow pa or highlighter palettes. I'm sorry, I go for highlighters with the gold undertone because it goes well with my skin tone. I personally I like it so. And then in the packaging, we also have her smoked out 3D mink lashes. So, again. And then it comes out like that. So these are her eyelashes. Oh, that's really soft. Ooh. Okay. I think I might like these. So I'll put that right here. Next up is the lip trio. And all of the collection in here is a uh, cruelty free not tested on animals so that's good and this is what the lip trio comes in oh so it comes in like that mm -hmm. okay bitch so this is the lip trio and let's just go ahead and swatch it actually before i freaking break it out okay so the first one is called BB. It has like two capital B's. And this is more like a really muted pink. And these are her clear glosses, but it has like a pink undertone to it. Just put this back. Oh, and I like the packaging of it. It's super cute. It has all the little aliens in 69 because again, she's the alien queen. So this is baby or BB. Okay, now 
the next one. Is Queen. And this is a clear gloss. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. With gold reflexes in it. So this is the packaging of that. Again, it has the alien. I love the vibe that she still kept it. She kept it original, just like herself. So I really dropped it. I really like it. But this one is BB. This one is clean. So as you can see. And then over here was the highlighter. And last but certainly not least is... This is so funny. I love how she names them because you could tell this is like her and her personality, which I really do like when YouTubers or any any influencer collabs with a makeup brand and you can see like their own spices and their own flavors into how they name their products because it just shows like their personality and their character. And this one is called Mood. So if you know Annette, you know she always be saying it. And oh yeah, right here. Oh, okay, this is more my vibe. Actually, all of them are. So this is Mood. And then this is what the swatches looks like. So Mood, Queen, and BB. And then her highlighter. I really, I like them so far. Like, honestly, this is something that I would wear. I don't know about the gold one. Maybe for, like, just to give my lipstick, like, a pop. But, on a, yeah. No, yeah, definitely a vibe. All of them. And then the star of the hour is her eyeshadow palette. Now, I've been meaning to dive right into it. So, this is the eyeshadow palette in its own slip. I think that's how you say it. And on the sides, if you could tell, it has like all like the 69 logos. And then in the back, it has also a little cheat sheet of what the eyeshadow consists of. So you have your shimmers, your mattes, and then your glitters. Oh, it has a plastic cover. And then cute. So it has a mirror, but then it also has like the 69 logos on it in hologram. I'm just trying to block the... And then this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Again, I did touch it because I wanted to make sure that nothing was damaged. But then, as you could tell, I have like nail marks on them. But this is the eyeshadow palette. I think it's super, super cute. So we got six. Nine, Batty, Dreamer, Leo, Alien Girl, Dinero, Muffin, Unstoppable, Ruiz, Boss, Fire, 420, 951, Believe, and Hustle. So this is a little bit of review, honestly, from first impressions, technically. I really, really do like it. I think it's well worth it. Um, so yeah, let's just dive right in. Again, I will list the prices down below, also with the link, and um, I'll link her video as well on how she created the whole collection. So if you saw this video before you saw her video, then girl, you need to go over there and see what how she made this. Oh, okay, so. Um, let's just dive right into it. I already have my face base on. Again, everything that I've used, I will list it down below. Let me just take out these swatches real quick. But with the first look, I want to bake because I know myself I'm going to get like an oily mess type of vibe. So I'm just going to bake around my nose and on my chin. Because I know, oh, I don't want to get powder on me. I know for a fact that I will freaking become an oily mess throughout the video. Alright. So I'm going to first prime my eyes with the Too Faced Eyeshadow 24 Hour Anti-Crease Primer. I'm going to prime my eyes right here on the right eye. Okay. 
Now, the color scheme that I'm looking at off the bat that I really want to try and get out of my comfort zone is, if I could get it, is like the blue, the greens, the purple, like in this color scheme because I know myself, I will definitely go with like the more warmer, like this area and I don't want to do that because last video I already did like a pink type of look so I want to get into the blues and like the purples so first I will dive in to let's see with With the BH Cosmetic Brush in number 7, I'm going to dive in in Boss, and that is the Neon Blue color. And I'm just going to put that into the crease area. Actually, I should put it all over. Ah. I dropped my eyeshadow palette. But she good. She good. Alright, I'm gonna hold it. I really, really like this color. This color is so freaking pretty. I love this neon blue. And I'm not getting a lot of fallout on this. And not even on the eyeshadow palette. Like, if I'm going into it, like you could just tell. So I have Boss, which is the blue one. And it's not even like taking that much and I'm building it up and it looks really 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 freaking bomb okay on it you go in and queen I think I'm going to blend the Nero into Boss as well. So the Nero is the green one right there. I'll be growing the Nero, hello, green. And then I think I'm going to mix it with, oh yeah. Oh, that's hella... Bitch, that's fucking tight. Mint. I like it. All right. Let me just take another brush. The let's see, let me see. Number nine from BH Cosmetic. And let me just pick up just a little bit and let me just put it right here. There you go. And let me just blend in the dude. This shit is Alright, don't hype yourself up, girl, because you ain't done yet. But so far, I really, really, really like the eyeshadow look. Okay. 
Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the crease. So, let's see. Let's take the eyeshadow insurance. I use eyeshadow primer again to cut my crease, but like I said, you can use a concealer if that works for you, but to me, I use eyeshadow primer because I know it's going to stick on me. So, and I use a concealer brush. You can use any type. Cutting the crease. And now, to pack on what I did right here, I'm going to take, yeah, same, number nine from BH, and I'm going to take six in the eyeshadow palette. So, it's this color right here, like the shimmery color. champagne vanilla if that's how you want to say it and then let's just oh yeah just pack it on right here mm -hmm. that's a vibe Oh yeah. Then I'm going to take boss again. And then kind of just blend that in together with six. And into the middle. So I'm just going to blend just a little bit up from the middle. Oh, nobody likes that, but... I don't care. Highlighting brow bone. Oh yeah. I really, really like the itch. And then just blend those in together. So far, I really, really like it. Then... I'm going to take the same little pencil brush and I'm going to take this color, Ruiz, this purple, because I really want to smoke it out. So that's the vibe that I'm going with. Yeah. Oh, damn. That shit's hella pigmented. Oh. Yeah, she pigmented. Oh, wow. I really... I truly, truly love this palette. Oh yeah, for sure. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bitch. I really, really like it. I like it a lot. So, off camera, I'm going to do the other eye so that way I can speed up the process. Then I'll do my liner and mascara. And then we are going to do the next step after I do mascara and eyeliner. Maybe I might pop on my lashes on camera. I don't know. I don't know how to do that yet. But I'll be right back with the other eye look. 
So I threw on um, some liner and mascara and then I threw on the smoked out lashes. Um, I really, really, really love them. I mean, they're really soft, they're really fluffy. And I love these style of lashes because these are the style of lashes that I would normally wear um, if I want to have like a dramatic look. So, so far this is the look that I've gotten from the Annette 69 with Beauty Creation Collab. So I really, really like it. So I can't do eyelashes on camera. Maybe one day I will, but for right now, I don't know how to do that. Yes, as you know, I'm still baking because I'm an oldie tech girl, so I need to keep baking. All right, so let's go back into the palette. Um, for the inner corner, I want to do six that I did for my brow bone and my inner eye. So I'm just gonna pack that on there. But then I'm really vibing with the glitter. Let me see 420. If I, can. I need a wet the brush. Setting spray. Oh yeah, that made a difference. So I just grabbed the glitter for 20 and I just wet the brush with a little light pencil brush and then I just put it Ooh, I really really like it kind of gives it that little pop no I'm shiny girl oh yeah so you do need to wet the product in order for you to catch the glitter. I suggest to get like those uh, glitter glues that they have so that way it could really stick on. But I just use my setting spray. So now what we're going to do is contour and highlight. So, so far I really, really like how this look came out. Now we're just going to contour a little bit. Oh, it's right there. Just move this over. Just gonna take it right here. Move it up here. Shit. There you go. Okay, now let's take some blush. Okay. I don't think too pinky of a blush just like a peachy type of vibe but I'll probably get like a pinky one I had to trim a little bit of the lashes for my inner corner so that way it could stick on but I might trim it just a little bit more because I can when I blink I can kind of feel it but I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Like, it's not annoying. But honestly, the lashes already killed the look. So. Now I'm just going to take the powder with the Morphe contour uh, sponge. Just 
kind of chisel the cheeks a little bit. Yeah, I know. I know. Alright, I already washed it, but now it's dirty again. Because I do do my makeup throughout the week, so... Stop coming for me for that. Just kidding. Okay. Now, on to my favorite part. The highlight girl. Because, you know, as girls, we love a highlighting queen. Now I'm going to take the Annette 69 one. Um, I don't know what she named. She should have named it something like Alien Queen or something. But it's just called Highlighter. And I will take the Morphe M510. And I'm really just going to... Let's see. Ooh. Do you guys see that? That's blinding. Ooh. And then I'm just gonna take off now the powder. There we are. Brush that off. I don't know why I make the weirdest faces. Like, am I the only one that does that? Do you guys make weird faces every time you put on makeup? I don't know why we do that. Why? Alright, now let's put some on the bridge of the nose. And then the tip of the nose. Oh yeah, I... I love this highlight. I love everything. Now again, I don't like to put highlight like up here on the brow bone too much because I'm an oily type of girl. Just gonna take that off. Now let's just set everything with the All Nighter Spray from Urban Decay. Just to give like moisture back into the face, but bitch, tell me you don't like this look. That's what I thought. Alright, I just took my chapstick off. And now for lip liner, I'm going to take my favorite lip liner from Morphe in Love Bite. want to do... This one's calling my vibe. Uh, oh no. Mood. She a mood. We're gonna take this. Oh, uh huh. And that's off of one swipe. I like dumped it in. Okay, Annette. I'm just gonna. Oh, I really. Oh, I like mood. All right. And then I'll use the Gold Topper Queen. Just take this off. I think I'm just going to put it on my finger. That way I don't mix in the products. And I'm just going to... Oh... I don't know if you can tell, but with 
queen it made my lips look more glittery I don't know how to explain it but it looks My nose is all ready. Where's my elbow? There we go. Just gonna take my lip liner again. really really vibing with this look I killed it killed it let me just spray one more time so this is the completed look I'm really really vibing with this like I love the colors I love how everything blended, the highlight, the glitter, the lashes. The lashes are my favorite, honestly. Like, and I've never used Beauty Creations lashes, and I really, really like it. I love everything about it. So, this is the final look, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below on what you want to see next. If you guys want to see a second look for me to use the palette again, let me know in the comment section down below. But again, congratulations to you, Annette, Alien Queen, to um, collab with them. I think it's really awesome, and I'm so happy for you if you ever see this video. But um, again, you guys, Please hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on that post notification bell on so that way you get notified every time I upload the next video. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Te quiero mucho, mis amores. Que thanks. Bye.